well now. so it's okay. Yeah, but there's one thing we do know. The line between victim and attacker ain't as clear as you might think. I suppose that's one lesson we can take away from this threshold of an amazing adventure. I cut off the leg before the poison spread. By spring, flowers will grow from the stump. speaks volumes. I fucking knew you were the culprit. Wait just a minute. None of that is possible. Shuichi was with me the whole time we were on lookout. When are you suggesting Shuichi killed Rantaro? Were you really together the whole time? Huh? What do you mean? I'm asking if you two were on lookout together the whole time. Well, I guess we weren't together the whole time. when Shuichi went to kill Rantaro! No! Shuichi wouldn't kill anyone! Don't become emotional. We must seek the truth in a calm and logical manner. Or all our lives will be lost here. I'm not being emotional here. I'm saying it with conviction! didn't ring until after Shuichi returned to the classroom. It only rang after Rantaro moved the hidden door, which means he was still alive. If Shuichi was with me when the alarm went off, then that means he's not the culprit. By the way, I want to confirm one thing with you, Kaede. Security sensor on the bookcase. It was Shuichi, right?
Ichi was the one who set up the security sensor. What about it? Did you actually check for yourself if the sensor was set on the bookcase, Kaede? No, I didn't check. Did it ever occur to you that Shuichi could have lied about setting the sensor? Hmm? A, a lie? Shuichi pretended to place the sensor on the hidden bookcase door. But in actuality, he was holding it the whole time. And when he met up with you, he secretly triggered the sensor to make the security alarm go off. That would cause Kaede to assume that someone had moved the bookcase. I see, sneaky little fucker! sensor was armed, but the moving bookcase isn't what triggered it. No, that's wrong! Wait a minute. This is weird. If the security sensor wasn't placed, then... We wouldn't have been able to take that picture. We were only able to get it because the sensor was triggered by the hidden door. Oh, that? Easy to explain. Well, you see... Uh... I guess you're right. Sorry, I didn't think that far ahead. You're giving up that easily? Yeah... I mean, whatevs. I made a mistake, big deal. You speak as if you knew that from the start. Even I was taken. So you see? Shuichi can't be the culprit! Now wait just a minute. The security sensor had a power supply, so what if it went like this? The security sensor was set up on the bookshelf, and Shuichi had its receiver. However, Shuichi turned the receiver off. That would get you a picture, but no alarm when Rantaro moved the bookcase. Then, when Shuichi says he's gonna check the basement, he actually goes to the library. And thanks to the 30 second interval, he's got time to go in after Rantaro. He could have collected the sensor from the hidden bookcase after killing Rantaro. I see. Then he caused the receiver to go off in front of Kaede to trick her. It's certainly plausible, considering that Shuichi knew about the intervals. Uh, how needlessly complicated. But I guess it's not impossible. Then, Shuichi really is the culprit? <laughs> So the ultimate detective is the killer! What a plot twist! Wait! Why do you guys think he's the culprit? Shuichi, please say something! Why aren't you saying anything? Shuichi, what's wrong? You're not culprit, are you? Hey, you gonna say anything? We'll all vote for you if you don't. Okay with being the culprit. Are you ready to turn yourself in?
over the case one more time. The security sensor was placed on the moving bookcase. Shuichi also had the receiver. I turn this lie into the truth. Sorry, you guys. I forgot to tell you something important. Forgot? To tell you the truth, it was me. I had the receiver. Huh? So that's why there's no way Shuichi could have turned off the receiver. If that is true, then the entire premise of the argument thus far is wrong. Is this true, Kaede? Uh, of course! Come on, would I lie to you guys? That only screw yourself over. If we mess up, you're dead too, you know. Or perhaps you wanted to cover for Shuichi, even at the cost of your life. Huh? I cannot imagine why anyone would risk their life to lie on another's behalf. Words from a true heartless robot. Emotions are only for meatbags. That is a harmful stereotype. I can produce heartfelt remarks through calculations. Like less than three? Those kinds of calculations? It's not so unthinkable. All hearts are blind when faced with radiant love. Doing anything for the one we love. Hasn't everyone felt that way before? <laughs> I most certainly have, at least. How sweet you are! I'm sure that person didn't want your love. Kaede and Shuichi are pretty buddy-buddy with each other, so I wouldn't doubt that. Plus, the way Kaede just acted right now, I'm pretty sure she lied. A talented liar like me can spot other people's lies easily. Well, what do you guys think? To believe or not to believe Kaede? Um, I do want to believe Kaede, but Shuichi does seem pretty suspicious. He has been strangely quiet for a while now, which is classic degenerate male behavior. Yeah, I agree. Shuichi is the only person here who's suspicious. So we all agree that Puichi did it? Then let's just vote already! No, I still think it is too soon to determine the culprit. Um, I agree. I sort of can't believe that Shuichi is the culprit. Yeah, this ain't right! Agree. But I don't know if Ottawa agrees. Cause right now it's his nap time. This is quite troublesome. It seems our opinions are on opposite ends. How are we supposed to decide? We're split, right down middle. Hold on! Split? Did you just say split? You did! I heard it! I heard it with my belly button microphone! So wait, your ears don't do anything? The Ultimate Academy is proud to present its very own more phenomenal trial grounds! More phenomenal trial grounds? Trial grounds are gonna morph? Seriously? I totally wanna see that!
hid what you knew about the camera interval, Shuichi. Gota. But Mew silent about intervals, too. Unlike Shuichi, I actually have an airtight alibi. Kaito! Kaede backed up Shuichi's alibi, didn't she? Shuichi and Kaede weren't together the whole time, were they? Hirumi! Both of them were together when the receiver went off. If Shuichi had the receiver, it could have been disguised. Kibo! Kaede is the one who actually had the receiver. But that's Kaede's lie, isn't it? I'll do it! We'll know whether or not it's a lie when we talk this through. Shuichi is not the culprit. If we vote for Shuichi, we'll be making the wrong choice. And if that happens, everyone will be executed. I definitely won't let that happen, even if it costs me my life. Kaede. Yeah, it's just like Kaede said. Shuichi ain't the culprit. Gonta believe in Shuichi too. Gentlemen always believe in friends. Well, if Shuichi's not our culprit, then who is? We've already exhausted all possible avenues of discussion. No way. There has to be something else we can discuss. We just gotta think. Right, Shuichi? Huh? Shuichi, even though you're not the culprit, you've been quiet for a while. It's because you realized something, huh? You're scared to reveal the truth. <laughs> I thought so. Shuichi. Answer me this. What kind of truth did you realize? Don't be scared to say it. Not just for me, but for everyone else. Please, face the truth. The picture. Picture? The picture from the camera aimed at the hidden door, just before the murder. I always thought it was suspicious, the way Rantaro was acting. Hmm? What's suspicious? If you look at the picture, it looks like Rantaro is trying to remove the camera. But that must mean he noticed the camera we set up. That's true. But when did he notice that? I believe it was when the camera took its first picture. This picture was taken when Rantaro moved the bookcase. At that moment, something made him notice the camera. So, he tried to remove it, but that's when the bookcase closed. The sensor was triggered, and that's when this picture was taken. If that is the case, we must find the reason why he noticed the camera. You're confusing everyone! Except me, of course. Just get to the fucking point! I've been contemplating what it could be. Why did he notice the camera? And the answer is in this picture. Right? The flash? Yes. The flash went off when the hidden door camera took a picture. Rantaro noticed the camera's flash. But how can you 
couldn't tell the flash went off. Well, if you compare it to the other pictures that we have. Remember the pictures that were taken when I took down the cameras? This is the picture taken when I removed the front camera. This is the picture from when I removed the rear camera. And this is the picture of Rantaro. Whoa! The brightness is totally different! Same room, circumstance, and camera. And yet, there is a disparity in brightness. Because only the camera aimed at the hidden door had the flash turned on. What was the purpose of leaving the flash on? Especially since it was meant to be hidden. A mistake, maybe? It's no mistake. There was an objective here. That camera was placed for another reason. Another reason, huh? I get it! The flash was used to lure whoever moved the bookcase to the camera. So when the flash went off, they would have noticed the camera right away. And that's exactly what happened. Rantaro moved the bookcase, noticed the flash, and then walked over to the camera. But the culprit didn't expect the camera to take another picture when the door closed. Hey, Kaede? What is it? Is something wrong? You've been acting... kind of strange. Strange? Your last few remarks carry... more conviction than before. Do you know who the culprit is? Yep, I know. I've known for a long time. Mm -hmm. Long time? Because there was only one person able to set the flash on the camera. Isn't that right, Shuichi? The culprit of this incident is... No doubt about it. Well, this is as far as it goes. I couldn't do it. I couldn't get to the mastermind. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm sorry, Rantaro. I'm sorry, Shirichi. You stayed silent this whole time because you realized it already, right? But you can't do that. It may be the end of me, but I want my wish to. I'm giving it to you, Shuichi. From now on, you're going to carry on my wish. You're going to protect everyone.
Kaede is the culprit. Huh? Kaede did it? Wait! That's not possible! Right, Kaede? Kaede? Wait! Did she really... <laughs> Just kidding! Just kidding? Huh? Did you guys really think I'm the culprit? Shh, come on, guys. Like I could. When Rantaro was murdered, I was in the classroom with Shuichi, remember? After that, we went to the library, and that's the first time I even saw his body. Plus, I never met up with Rantaro. I never had a chance to kill him. Yes, no way Kaede could be culprit. Jeez, of course not. Do you think I'm even strong enough to throw that shot? My hands are only strong enough to play piano. Then accusing you of being the culprit is... <laughs> yep, it's wrong. Shuichi's just joking around. He wanted to lighten up the mood. Right, Shuichi? No matter how you look at it, I couldn't have killed Rantaro with that shot. Not joking around. Kaede definitely killed Rantaro. What the hell did you just say? It seems as though Shuichi is serious after all. Of course I am. Why don't you tell me then? How did I kill Rantaro with that shot? Yeah, how? You and Kaede were together the whole time, weren't you? How Kaede killed Rantaro with the shot put ball should become clear when you consider where she used it. Where she used the shot put ball? Huh? What? I lost you guys! an alibi. When Rantaro was killed, I was in the classroom, standing watch with Shuichi. Kaede never saw Rantaro. How did she kill him? It's important to establish where the culprit used the shot. We know that it was in the library. That's wrong! Kaede didn't use the shot put ball at the scene of the crime. She used it at the first floor classroom, where we were keeping watch. Hold up. How could she have hit Rantaro with a shot from a different floor? She rolled it. 
she rolled the shot from the first floor classroom and hit me Carl. I am skeptical that she could perform such a feat of accuracy. But was a magic shot put fall? Yeah. That's not possible. It is possible. If you do it at the right spot in the classroom, it will reach the library. So it seems you already knew about that. shot in there, it would reach the library. I see. That air duct connects the classroom to the library. So, the shot is rolled into the vent, passes through the duct, and comes out of the air vent above the library bookcase. But how could she have hit Rantaro from all the way over there? The vent was way too far from Rantaro's body. So it was just a coincidence? What kind of coincidence is that? Hmm, what a mystery. Shot that fell from the vent. How did it strike Rantaro's head from that distance? Yeah, that's impossible. It's not like it started rolling on its own. I agree. It's just like we almost said. Shot rolled along the top of the bookcase and fell on Rantaro's head. Rolled along the bookcase? I did say that, but would the shot have rolled that conveniently? It has nothing to do with convenience. The shot rolled exactly how the culprit wanted. They used books on top of the bookcases to direct the path of the shot. The shot's path was directed by books? How would that even work? Ah, it would be easier to explain with a floor plan of the library. that during the investigation you said you would use your drone to make a floor plan oh yeah what happened 
even with that. Ha! I've already developed the photos and drafted some sketches. Then let's look at it. Maybe we all find Clue. Please, Mia. Oh, want him that badly, huh? Fine. But now you owe me one. Voila! Feast your eyes on these babies. It's just as I thought. Luke, what is? See? The books are stacked like stairs from the vent to where Rantaro's body was found. Oh! Shuichi is right! Indeed. They are stacked like stairs. I did not notice when I looked up from the floor. I see, I see. The shots rolled on top of these books, eh? Yes. I'm sure. The shot was rolled into the classroom bed and came out in the library. If the vent was open, the shot would have maintained momentum. And you did that, right, Kaede? You made sure the vent was open. Good memory, Shuichi. When the shot came through, the stacked books made a change direction. It then rolled down the path made by the books. The books were stacked in rows so that the shot wouldn't fall off. At the same time, the books blocked the shot from view. Then, when the ball was directly above Rantaro, it changed direction, rolled along the groove of the open books, and fell on top of his head. And it was the camera flash that lured him to that exact spot. A setup that complicated is almost like a Rube Goldberg machine. So Kaede created this mechanism? Well, it would be... Wait, even with the Rube whatever setup, when did she roll the ball into the duct? Wasn't Shuichi with Kaede in the classroom? When the sensor went off, I ran out first, and then Kaede followed. But just before she left... The ultimate detective would remember all that. 
Your words and that smile. Is this your admission of guilt? Hold on! Don't just jump to conclusions! I've still got a lot of questions. <laughs> That's weird. Why do you sound so desperate? There's nothing weird about it. There's just no way I can believe someone like Kaede would be the culprit. Yeah, going to not believe it either. What? Don't worry, Kaede. I'll clear your name. to believe that Kaede is the culprit. I still have my doubts. What kind of doubts? Doubts about the noise, of course. The library should have been quiet, right? That's wrong! The murder occurred while the Killing Game promotional video was being broadcast. The library would not have been completely quiet at the time. Oh. So that ghastly video drowned out the sound of the shot rolling. What? Kaito, are you done now? D damn it. So it's true then? You're saying Kaede really is the culprit? So that means most of Kaede's sins were committed right before Shuichi's eyes. That's correct. I was with her in the classroom. And when she moved the vent grate aside. And when she lined up the books on top of the bookcase. And it was the same when you took the murder weapon, wasn't it? You took the shot put ball when you got the cameras for Mew, right, Kaede? That's it! Kaede's backpack. She was carrying the shot put ball in there. Despite its weight, it would have been easy to carry in a backpack. I noticed you also had a spare vest, which you could have wrapped it in. That would prevent the cameras you were carrying from being damaged. And that means all of this happened right in front of Shuichi. But we should not blame him for that. None of those actions warranted suspicion at the time, so we might not have noticed. 
That clears it all up then. Every part of the crime Kaede plotted. That can't be. It's gotta be mistake, right? But if all of that is true, then that's pretty unfortunate. I mean, it's Kaede, you know? She kept preaching about working together, and then she goes and kills in cold blood! No, something still doesn't fit. Hmm, what doesn't fit? Kaede wouldn't do something like that. Huh? You mean she's not the type? But you were the one that said she did it, right? Yes, I did say that. But murder in cold blood is just not in her character. I truly believe that. I believe in her. But why? Why do you still believe in me, Shuichi? Why? Tell me why! Why are you doing this? Are you still looking away from the truth? Not at all. My belief in you is going to lead me to the truth. I'll show you what's behind all this. I'll show you your truth. You still believe in me? I'm definitely the culprit. Do you think I wouldn't do it? Still believe in me? Ah! Just stop! Remember what I told you? Ah! Do you know what I was trying to do? You weren't persuaded by Monokuma. And you weren't trying to save yourself. What you were trying to do was kill the mastermind. Kill the mastermind? Kaede wasn't targeting Rantaro. She was targeting the mastermind. She was trying to end this killing game. She was trying to save us all. Isn't that right, Kaede? Otherwise, everyone would have died when the time limit expired. So, she tried to end the killing game by killing the mastermind? But it's all my fault. Kaede trusted my detective skills. I told her the mastermind might be there. And that's why she set that trap. It's all my fault. She trusted my detective work, and I screwed it up. Stop. That's not true. Please, don't say it's your fault. It'll be harder for me. None of this is your fault. It's mine. Everything's my fault! Kaede. Shuichi. Can I ask you to do one last favor for me? Can you... end all of this? What? I want you to reveal everything that happened and convince everyone. And then, I want you to end this. That's... my final wish. I understand. I'll end all of this. I'll reveal everything. The truth and the lies.
This is the truth of the case. It all began two days prior, when Monokuma gave us the additional motive. The time limit added to this killing game triggered the crime. After the announcement, some of us decided to form groups to plan our next move. I had my own plan to find the mastermind, and someone offered to help me. At the time, I never would have imagined they would become the culprit. To expose the mastermind, the culprit and I set up hidden cameras in the library. There was a hidden door in the library that showed signs of use. We deduced that the mastermind would return there to let Monokuma out. The next day, we asked Mew if she could modify some cameras for our trap. We then went to the warehouse to gather the necessary materials. All we needed were disposable cameras and a security sensor. But the culprit found something else there. The murder weapon. That's right, the shot put ball. They put the cameras, as well as the shot, in their backpack. Then, on the day the time limit would expire, the day of the murder, the culprit and I collected the modified cameras from you and visited the library. Once there, we searched the room for ideal locations to place the cameras. But even then, the culprit was preparing the murder. They began by removing the vent grate and laid it inside the air duct. Then, they moved the pile of books on top of the bookcase, pretending to organize them. After that, they placed open encyclopedias on the final bookcase. It appeared innocuous enough, but it was actually a path for the murder weapon. The culprit also tampered with the hidden camera linked to the security sensor. I was responsible for setting up the other cameras, but that one... I didn't even notice their trick. They used duct tape to keep the flash function on. After the cameras were set, the culprit and I climbed the stairs to the first floor classroom. We kept a lookout for the others and waited for the security sensor to go off. During the stakeout, we saw Kaito and six others go down to the basement. Rantaro was with them, the first victim. After watching that group enter the game room, I returned to the classroom. With about one hour remaining, the security receiver I was holding went off. I assumed it was the mastermind, so I ran out of the classroom to the library. I was in such a hurry, I left the culprit behind. Looking back on it now, that was the last chance I had to stop the murder. After I had left, the culprit took the shot put ball out of their backpack and rolled it into the classroom vent. Thank <laughs> you.
This set the murder in motion. Rantaro had moved the bookcase, triggering the receiver. Unbeknownst to him, the trap had been sprung. First, the modified camera took a picture of Rantaro with the flash on. Rantaro noticed the flash and approached the bookcase to inspect the camera. The camera flash lured Rantaro directly into the murder weapon's path. The shot the culprit tossed into the vent rolled through the air duct. Came out of the library's vent and kept rolling atop the bookcase. Opening the vent grate and organizing the books was all to create a path. Under normal circumstances, the victim would have been alerted by the noise. But the promotional video was masking the sound of the shot rolling. The shot kept rolling, then fell on Rantaro's head, killing him instantly. By the time we had entered the room, the murder was complete. I imagine, seeing Rantaro's body, the culprit probably thought... The mastermind is dead, the game is over, now we can all go home. But their wish didn't come true, because Rantaro wasn't the mastermind. It was murder, in an attempt to save all our lives. That is the truth. That's the truth behind your lies, Kaede Akamatsu, the ultimate pianist. And that concludes the events of this case. N no! Kayede did it? Damn it! It is a truth I do not wish to accept. But since Shuichi has brought everything to light, we can at least try to trust the Kayede we've come to know up to this point. The Kayede we've come to know? Even if she did commit a crime, what Kaede has said to us is not a lie. She wanted to protect us, and I firmly believe that to be the truth. If that was a lie too, it'd be the last straw for me. I'd have nothing left to believe in. You guys are so nice, even though I betrayed you all. No, that's not true, Kaede! You were trying to save all of us. Nice job, Shuichi. I didn't expect any less. What? You were super reliable back there. But you still have a long way to go. You need to be more assertive. If you did that more often, you'd be a pretty cool guy. Kaede, why? Why are you smiling like that? Why are you still trying to get me to be brave? Why, Kaede? Why are you thinking about everyone except yourself? If you had just been less selfless, you wouldn't have had to murder. Why? Why do you do that? I'm sorry. the end of the trial? Sheesh! <laughs> Looks like the debate's finished, so that means it's voting time! All right, you bastards!
press the button in front of you to cast your vote. And make sure y'all vote, because refusing to vote is grounds for termination. At last! The heart-loosing excitement as the blackened and the spotless finally face off! Yes, voting time! Right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? 